Now that we have successfully connected the Surround Bar 3000, we can now train your remote control to operate the volume, mute, and power controls. Your Surround Bar 3000 is currently programmed to respond to the remote control that is included with the product. However, Polk Audio has provided the ability to program the Surround Bar 3000 to also respond to your existing remote control. I would like to note that if your Surround Bar is not currently powered on, please make sure to power it on before continuing. Now let's begin. Go ahead and locate your television's original remote control for the training process. If you primarily use a cable or satellite provider's universal remote, we will come back to that later. The first step is to press and hold the Learn button on the surround bar until the center green light begins flashing yellow in color. Once the light begins flashing yellow, you can remove your finger from the Learn button. Immediately after the light begins flashing and you have removed your finger from the Learn button, you will need to tap the Volume Up button on the surround bar one time. The light should now have changed to solid yellow in color. Now, hold your remote control between 12 and 24 inches from the surround bar and begin tapping the Volume Up button on your remote control one time per second. Continue to tap until the light on the surround bar flashes green several times. At that point, it will revert back to a solid green light. If by chance the light flashed red in color, this would indicate that the surround bar did not accept the training of the command. Don't worry, this can happen in some cases. Simply try the training procedure again. Now that we have trained the volume up command from your remote to the surround bar's volume up command, you can repeat the training procedure for volume down, mute, and power. Just remember, when training the other commands, after you have held the Learn button on the surround bar, you are going to press the command you are attempting to train on the surround bar. For example, when you train volume down, the sequence would be Learn button on the surround bar, volume down on the surround bar, then volume down on the remote. Now, after confirming that all commands have been trained effectively, you may pick up your cable or satellite provider's remote control. And as long as that remote control is programmed to control your television, it should now be able to control the surround bar. Polk Audio would like to remind you, while we have provided a product with outstanding sound quality and ease of use, there may be some televisions as well as some cable and satellite provider remote controls that just are not compatible with the training procedure. In those cases, simply utilize the included remote with the Surround Bar 3000 for full control of your audio experience.